Men of Honor. Men of Honor released in the UK and Ireland as Men of Honor is a 2000 American drama film starring Robert De Niro and Cuba Gooding Jr. The film was directed by George Tillman Jr. It is inspired by the true story of Master Chief Petty Officer Carl Brashier, the second African-American master diver in the United States Navy. Plot Carl Brasher leaves his native Kentucky and the life of a sharecropper in 1948 by joining the United States Navy. As a crew member of the salvage ship USS Hoist, where he is assigned to the galley, he is inspired by the bravery of one of the divers, Master Chief Petty Officer Leslie William Billy Sunday. He is determined to overcome racism and become the first black American Navy diver, even proclaiming that he will become a master diver. He eventually is selected to attend diving and salvage school in Bayonne, New Jersey, where he arrives as a boatswain's mate second class. He finds that Master Chief Sunday is the leading chief petty officer and head instructor, who is under orders from the school's eccentric, bigoted commanding officer to ensure that Brashier fails. Brashier struggles to overcome his educational shortcomings, a result of his leaving school in grade seven, in order to work on his family's failing farm. He receives educational assistance from his future wife, a medical student who works part-time in the New York Public Library in Harlem. Brashier proves himself as a diver by rescuing a fellow student whose dive buddy abandons him during a salvage evaluation. Unfortunately, due to the racism of the commanding officer, the student who fled in the face of danger is awarded a medal for Brashier's heroic actions. Likewise, during an underwater assembling task where each student has to assemble a flange underwater using a bag of tools, Brashier's bag is cut open on purpose. Brashier nevertheless finishes the assembly and graduates from diving school, earning the quiet and suppressed admiration of Sunday and his fellow divers. Sunday is later demoted to senior chief by the commanding officer for standing up for Brashier and allowing him to pass. The paths and careers of Brashier and Sunday diverge. Brashier rises quickly through the ranks, even becoming a national hero in the 1966 Palomares incident for recovering a missing hydrogen bomb and for saving the lives of Navy crewmen. Sunday continually loses his composure around officers who disrespect his accomplishments until he is finally demoted to chief petty officer and relegated to menial duties. He becomes a brooding alcoholic displeased with his lowered rank. The two eventually meet again after Brashier's left leg was so mangled in the Palomares incident that he feels that his only chance to return to active duty and a relatively normal life is for the leg to be amputated and replaced with. Until this time, no Navy man had ever returned to full active duty with a prosthetic limb. Sunday again trains Brashier and aids him in his fight against the Navy's bureaucracy and an antagonistic Navy Captain Brashier's and Sunday's former hoist executive officer in order to return to full active duty and fulfill his duty. They succeed in getting Brashier reinstated. In the epilogue, it is noted that two years later Brashier becomes a master diver. It is added that he does not retire from the Navy for another nine years. Cast Robert De Niro as Master Chief Leslie Billy Sunday Cuba Gooding Jr. as Boatswain's mate second class later master diver Carl Brashier Chris Warren Jr. as young Carl Charlize Theron as Gwen Sunday, Anjanu Ellis as Joe Brashier, Hal Holbrook as Camp Commanding Officer, Mr. Pappy Captain USN, Michael Rappaport as Gunner's Mate Snow Hill, Brashier's Barracks Mate and a Stutterer, Powers Booth as Captain Pullman, David Keith as Captain Hartigan, Holt McCallany as Machinist's Mate First Class Dylan Merck, David Conrad as Captain Hanks, Joshua Leonard as Petty Officer Second Class Timothy Douglas Isert, Carl Lumbly as Mac Brashier, Carl's father, Earl's father, Earl's father, Lonet McKee as Ella Brashier, Carl's mother, Glenn Terman as Chief Floyd, Joshua Feynman as Du Bois. Production 
The film features the classic U.S. Navy Mark V diving equipment used by the Navy from 1915 until 1985. The equipment was custom made by Disco, who manufactured the gear for the Navy along with three other makers. The helmets used were actually commercial helmets which have larger glass windows or lights on Navy breastplates, allowing greater visibility of the actors. The divers wore equipment weighing about 200 pounds 91 kg. Reception The film opened at the third position at the North American box office behind Little Nicky and Charlie's Angels, which was on its second week at the top spot. Man of Honor was met with mixed reviews. It currently has a 42% rating at Rotten Tomatoes, with the consensus stating, De Niro and Gooding Jr. managed to turn in performances that make this by the numbers inspirational movie watchable. Roger Ebert gave the film three stars out of four, calling it an old-fashioned biopic but criticized Theron's appearance in the film, calling it professional but unnecessary to the picture. Historical Accuracy Accuracy While the film portrays a Wisconsin recruit as the only white recruit to remain in Carl Brashier's bunk, the actual individual was a Brazilian diver named Alberto José do Nascimento, who was also dark-skinned. Alberto also helped Brashier save a fellow recruit who was trapped underwater during a training exercise. Soundtrack Mark Isham's soundtrack was released as an album in 2000.